Okay, we're looking at a tram there, and then the railroad tracks. Uh, we'll discuss the tram in a, in a minute. Nice little cart that, haul, that uh, was loaded with railroad ties. We're coming up on what's called S1. That was owned by Summers Lumber Company, which was actually owned by Great Northern Railway. And we do, we do run this up and down the tracks, but this main purpose was for pushing or in or pulling out the tram loads of ties out of the great big retorts, which is a huge uh, building, uh, a high pressure building where it tr creosote treat the ties. And this is a Porter fireless boiler. We're running it with a c compressor, compressed air instead of steam because we don't have the ability to generate the steam enough to run it but uh it's it's kind of fun it's there was only s1 and s2 which was a smaller one it's the only ones we know of that were ever used in montana but the summer's tie plant to head into flathead lake near kalispell here we have a railroad inspection car called a scooter we have some older ones in our false caboose down there this had a little gas engine in it. Fairmont Company made these. And then if a train was coming, there was handles there, they would slide them out to have enough leverage to lift it off the track onto, onto a little pre-made uh, out of two by fours or four by fours wood, uh, a short thing just to get them off the track, let the train pass. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the Miracle of America Museum.